Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. Looks like a stormy day across the area. Lakes area, the shower and thunderstorm activity coming in probably after about 9 a.m. And it looks like a pretty high coverage. Pretty much everybody's going to get shower and thunderstorm activity. And uh, for the triangle, that's delayed a little bit later. It looks like um, closer to noontime, we ought to start seeing widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. Again, one to two inches of rainfall possible as we work through the day tomorrow. There is a marginal 5% risk of severe weather, mainly for damaging winds and hail tomorrow as that cold front pushes through the area. Ahead of the front, temperatures are still going to be above normal, but again, don't let that 76 or so deceive you because there's some spots tomorrow that are going to probably drop into the 50s by late day on the way down to 48 here in Beaumont Sunday. That's still, while it's cooler, it's still above normal. But as we head towards Sunday afternoon, Monday and Tuesday, looks like below normal temperatures are expected before we start warming up as we head towards late next week. Otherwise, Warm, moist flow off the Gulf of Mexico. We're watching the front. It's stalled over towards New Mexico. It needs a kick in the pants, and that will come with this trough of low pressure. Part of the trough that you can see right here is going to move off to the east. It's going to leave a piece of energy off towards south uh, sections of California, and that's going to bring us a crummy forecast as we head towards Monday. It looks like drippy and chilly across the area. There's the trough. It heads north and east and leaves behind that piece of energy in the upper levels in northwest Mexico by Sunday morning. Then as we head towards, uh, say, Sunday night into Monday, trough of low pressure, all these beautiful colors, that is telling us that there's lift in the atmosphere. And when you have lift in the atmosphere, that means more clouds and a better chance of rain because of the dynamics. There you go, the light rain coming in on Monday. It looks like it's going to be a drippy, chilly day across the area. Nothing heavy, but just, just a crummy day on Monday. Uh, tonight will be very mild, unseasonably warm weather will continue. Could see some patchy fog. And temperatures, I think, will be close to about 70, maybe a little cooler towards Port Arthur. Most of the morning, at least let's say the start of the morning, should be dry. Then after about 9, we'll see the rains move into the lakes after about 11 here in the Triangle. And again, a pretty good coverage, about 100% coverage uh, across the area and a small risk of severe weather. But uh, after that, notice how the temperatures start falling. Now again, the movement of the rain off to the east may be slower than what this particular model has. So it may be raining at 3 and 4 and 5 o'clock rather than what this is showing. But I like the timing of this particular model. Notice how the temperatures fall into the 50s across southeast Texas. On the Gulf of Mexico, looking at shifting winds from the south to the west with the front and slightly choppy seas tomorrow around 1 to 2 feet. Our forecast tonight, mostly cloudy, some patchy fog. Lows unseasonably warm. Closer to the mid to upper 60s down in South County and closer to the lower 70s up towards the lakes area. For tomorrow, do not be deceived. Okay, yeah, we'll see highs in the 70s, but we'll likely fall into the 50s by late day. Everybody getting showers and storms as winds shift to the north and increase to 15 miles an hour. Temperatures falling into the 50s again. So a yellow bar day tomorrow. Then on Sunday, a gray chilly day with highs only in the mid to upper 50s. Then on Monday, this is at 9 a.m. Look at that. It's not a lot of rain. It's going to be drippy, light stuff. But at 9 a.m., temperatures in the 40s, you're not going to want to get out of bed for Monday. Otherwise, that's all gone. By Tuesday and Wednesday, chilly mornings are expected with sunny, cool, dry days as we start warming up towards Christmas Eve. Could be around 77. And the outlook for Christmas Day, mostly sunny with a cool morning and a mild slash warm afternoon. At least it'll be dry. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.